Hey. <laughs> I love my husband. <laughs> Blink twice if you're <laughs> Just in case he watches. All right. <laughs> oh, God. What are we making today? You see, this is a good one. I like smoothies. So, I... Okay, let me rephrase. I like smoothies. I don't like the effort required. <laughs> so, Rachel is here. Farm and function thing. Yay! I'm very excited because we don't have to cut up nothing. Good. Because well, I don't have to cut up. You Anything. That's not there. Yeah, banana, so yeah, banana. Oh. It's all about the base. So like whatever liquid you decide to use, to me that's what's end up deciding the texture. So yeah. if you do the milk or the coconut milk, it'll be creamier. Right. If you do coconut water, it will actually separate. So you have to kind of drink that smoothie pretty fast. Oh wow. Yeah. But I like juice. I like juice as my base. Um, any fruits once it's frozen. I find if juice. you put... Yeah. When? Like fresh juice. Okay. <laughs> She's like, why are you adding juice with your fruits now? But yeah, like, <laughs> I don't realize like, it's a whole science with yeah. smoothie. Why does banana not peeling? I'm feeling like a... Yeah, they massage it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to See? Next thing we know, we just invite us here to peel bananas. I know. But that's the level of effort I'm talking about. That is... No, as soon as it becomes so hard, it's not happening. <laughs> like when I first started chemo, and everybody was like, oh, well, you know, you have some easy things you could make, just make some smoothies. I'm like, okay, but who's cutting it up? Yeah. Who peeling it? Who cutting it up? And, and I had to wash the blender after too. It's okay. That has stopped me from making smoothies. Wash it on blender. Yeah. I keep washing on blender. Serious? Yeah. The, the key is, right, as soon as you're done this smoothie, Put the sink and pour water. Let's yeah. soak. I do soak. I do not soak. No, you see the worst things when they come home and see the. I'm <laughs> sorry. I can't. Oh, they're making it too easy for me. No, Ted. He does not soak. He does not soak. I thought I was invited here to talk about smoothies, but yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, talking about smoothies. <laughs> and we talk. Oh, the soak and the blender part. Okay. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, so what Organic is Organic spinach. So it's actually like, what I like to say, like sea moss, like not sea moss, like um, moss in a pond, you know that? Ew. <laughs> it's basically that. But Why are we putting that in us? That type of um, plant like absorbs a lot of energy from the sun. So it makes it like super, super healthy. But it turns your smoothie like green, like fluorescent green. Okay, that could be cute. The key to our smoothie is, and you get, why I like smoothies, you could hide a lot of added stuff, right? So, you know, your doctor might say, have flax, but nobody gonna eat a spoon of flax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a great way to like hide all these good stuff without, you know, all having good to. Stuff that tastes like ass. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Basically. You don't wanna put too much of anything to overpower. So, it's okay. how you balance it. Okay. So, first thing is the core which is the frozen fruit. fruit. Okay. I like to put that first. I also like to put the bananas, you know, so you, you do your fruits first. This is papua or papaya. International. Papa laps. <laughs> this is the, the lack of authenticity and as we talk about. <laughs> I like, well, you can't really put papa on that thing. And... Papaya is actually the correct term for the fruit. Is it though? Um, I went to Argentina and I said, do you all have papa? And the guy says, that means a big dump. So papaya. So, <laughs> if you want to export and you want to enter the market, yeah, you, and you need want to, to use the right you know, terminology. Yeah, and whisk it. Okay. What's wrong with his whisk? Ratatata. Okay. <laughs> the whisk. It's not whiskey. Days. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, boy. That's what people Come say. Here. Like, when the imported fruits, you know, it's like, when you open it, it doesn't smell like fruit. Mm. So, like, with this, it's like, you oh. know it's real fruit. Wow. Yeah. If you don't have a good blender, I would suggest putting the softer fruits first. So, like, if your blender isn't very you strong, blender is not no, good, no I would put the no. bananas first just to... Is it is it in, you yeah. know, if your blender is trash. <laughs> Dawi. We'll save two bananas for Dawi. So. so you put some pineapple. More than that, right? Papaya. 
higher. I like my liquid ratio to be at least half because you don't want so it to get too stuck. Yeah. This is already cold, so I, I like to use the cold. So there's coconut milk, which is a good dairy-free option. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like... Mm -hmm. No, I like coconut milk. Yeah? Okay, yeah. So how much? Just half the... Yeah, like go half. Yeah. So that's the good part about smoothies. You can hide or add in all this like healthy stuff that is good for this and that and da da da. And it wouldn't really taste it that much. Mm -hmm. So usually you should measure this with a spoon, but... I'm really, I'm a fan of flaxseed. Yeah? So that's good. Um, so this one is flax and chia blended. Oh, nice. So you kind of knock it out. Um, I don't know if I want to put this spirit in now. Spoon? Uh, yeah. The heaping. Yeah. Yeah, this looks healthy already. Next to you, say, come off. That's a bit green from it. This is supposed to be like, well, healthy but and it's gonna taste really good. Hmm. Went from porn shots to porn smoothies. I know. <laughs> Look at us. Who would have thought? So, the frozen fruits will help with that. I think the bananas definitely made it thicker. Presentation, bay. Mm. You're fancy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, it's not bad. This is only made possible for me because of farm and function already having the things cut up. It wasn't gonna happen otherwise. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I think most people feel like that. Like by the time need, you put the effort. I need ease in my life yeah. right now. More than anything else, just ease. I don't I peel bananas, I could do that. Yeah. This is another thing. I can add something to mine. Sure. I have some canister in the fridge. Some what? Canister. You know he had to be different. Yeah. Why does one look like somebody felt a pair against a wall? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like real right, so it would be spinning the so yeah. Well, like the consistency. That meaty. I'll take your word for it. You know what I say, No. Sure. Just a little piece. Please. It's like a mango, it's but... It's really okay. <laughs> well... Oh, it have real seeds. It does? Yeah. Oh, it is sure. Creamy. It's like a sweet pure. I don't like either. Yeah, not me. So... Why are we doing this? Uh, because I just like to add extra things in my... He want extra. I don't know. I have some sea moss in the back there. <laughs> he making a punch. Yeah, like what no, is all this? I need sea moss on my knees, so my knees on my waist. I look in like despair. <laughs> I mean, it's like a magic. Yeah, don't know. true. Don't know. That part. <laughs> but we trust it. <laughs> I might taste it. I might taste it. You are a trooper. Smell the smell. Mm -hmm. And ginger. Yeah, I do. You don't want to cut I'll put a little roughage for him, a little extra skin. <laughs> <laughs> smell like gova. <laughs> it's and lots of things. Smelling like on your skin of your face, that is really. It smells like too many things. So there's a point on no return with a smoothie when you know you put, like you went too far. Yeah. Yeah, a little something there. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah? Really? You have green all over his mustache. <laughs> I find balance, to be honest, real overrated. Like, the person who says that they do this and then do that and perfectly match it, there's some weeks you want to yeah. pick out, or there's some weeks you want to allow yourself to, to not think about week 24-7. Yeah. But I just find whatever I decide to do, I do it really well. Right. 
I think once you decide whatever part of your lifestyle you're gonna commit to, even if it's for an hour, I pretend I'm in the Olympics for that hour. So if it's to take a nap, go all the way. I make sure the room is set up. <laughs> I don't want no distractions, nothing. Mm -hmm. So I just think what, whatever you decide to do that day, and you'd have to decide a week before people who plan the whole month. I mean, that's good if it works for them, but mm -hmm. I think balance is definitely, you have to find your own balance and allow, and a lot of times I find people don't listen to their bodies. I was just about to say. So I'm Everybody sure. Is telling you to rest, then maybe you just Yeah, and you yeah. think, oh no, I just have an upset stomach, let me push through. But your body's literally saying, hey, yeah, something's, something's going on. off. You feel off balance, off centered, stop yeah. and do something about it, you know? What do you think about um, the safe zone thing? Um, People comparing it to um, 1930s Germany. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the exact same that you, some people get to go boozo and others don't. <laughs> or yeah, a like, fancy restaurant. A real food like, that's, problem. That's, that's, um, <laughs> like, oh my god, my rights to eat boozo. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry, I just, I think it's silly that people are that upset about doing things to protect the public health. Yeah. This is a very egalitarian time that we need to embrace because it is not about the individual anymore. Yeah. I find. I get it. Some people are hurt <laughs> that they can't go to Hagenaz or Buzo or wherever, but I'm sorry, I would be hurt if I contracted COVID yeah. and died because my immune system is compromised. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think if it was an inequality issue, then the only way it would be that is if only certain persons had to could afford the vaccine. But the vaccine is okay, available free. to everyone. Exactly. So it's not a, a way you have to um, pay for it or, you know, it's accessible anyway. Yeah. But then we're, like, we're not just fighting this idea of inequality, but we're fighting misinformation. Yeah, for sure. And then, but how do you fight misinformation if people are already committed to believing whatever they want to believe? Yeah. I just, I just don't want to get to a point where it's um, survival of the fittest. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's where I think you, you may be, it may be vulnerable for some people, right? Yeah. Because even if someone says, you know, they want to decide or they want to wait, if other persons around them are not taking the right precautions. You're not even allowing them that time to yeah, do the right. Really yeah, take their time and, and forget yeah. So you you can think about it for sure. I'm not saying you can't have thoughts on what you put in your body. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but that yeah, I'm gonna do the research. <laughs> I think you're not doing the research. I'm gonna. I have an encyclopedia. I'm gonna That's check that. Confirmation <laughs> bias essentially. At yeah. Play, but yeah. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? The economy had a reopen. We are, as a whole, the country is suffering, and I think people don't realize because we keep seeing people buying new cars and like we're seeing other people thriving, so we think like, oh no, it's fine. Yep, it's not fine. Didn't we say she would end up down in it at the end? <laughs> and pause. Pause. Thank you. I just stop. Thank you. It's very cute. You're very stylish, you know. I don't know why people. Funny, I should dress like trash before. <laughs> Until I got married, I was just dressing like trash. Somebody Sean, literally Sean, told me Sean that. Make it, stop your game up. Apparently, <laughs> he's just out here making me look good. I know. He it's actually is really good at that. You love yeah. This was amazing. I really enjoyed being here, not just with you, of course. But with eat a food and doing these videos, um, it started as cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. um, and the best part is that cancer awareness happens outside of October too. So here we are. And it's always amazing to have fantastic supporters <laughs> who also happen to be fantastic providers of healthy food and healthy eating options. So I'm looking forward to doing a little more of this with y'all and a little more of this with y'all. Awesome. And let's see what else we can make. We'll try. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for having me. It's fine. Thank you. It sounds like it's fine. God.
<laughs> He'd like to bring out the pettiness and running. I know. <laughs> Stop. Thank you, Dawi. Bye, guys. <laughs>